Hey folks, Ragnarok is upon us and I'm so excited to bring you the first approximately 20 minutes or say about 25 minutes of gameplay. Now I'm gonna jump right into it without giving you an intro of any sorts. So let's just get into the settings. Now you do have a lot of options here. Unfortunately, I do not have a television which has HDMI 2.1. I only have a TV which has HDMI 2.0. Now with my television, in terms of the graphics mode, I have a couple of them. One is the performance mode where your gameplay runs at uh, between 1600 to 2160p, which is like a dynamic 4K, and it runs at 60 FPS. That's a solid 60 FPS. The other mode that you have is a quality mode where you are running it at native 4K, but you are running it at a locked 30 FPS. Now, if I had to choose between the two modes, I'd probably go with the performance mode because I do like that silky smooth 60 FPS. Now, if you do happen to have a television or a monitor which has HDMI 2.1, you can take advantage of two more modes. One is a mode which has the same quality as the quality mode, but uh, the game runs at 40 FPS. And one of the other modes, the last one, is an unlocked frame rate mode where you can get as high as 120 FPS with roughly about 1440p. So these are the four modes overall if you have an HDMI 2.1 television, if you are limited or if you are down to just a TV with or a monitor with HDMI 2.0, hey, you've still got two modes, quality and performance. I'm gonna go along with the quality, sorry, the performance mode, not the quality mode. And um, I'm gonna start a new game. I did start playing it, but um, I wanna record this again. Now let's just start with the story mode because when I make my videos, you guys know that I generally start off with the easy or the easiest mode, you can say. It's also to make sure that I talk about the story as much as I can and uh, it gets a little bit distracting, you know, while I'm do doing both, like recording and playing the game as well. So therefore, I'm just going to go along with the story mode. I may explore the other difficulty options later on. Man, I was so excited to get my hands on this and finally, I have been able to. I was, wasn't even able to sleep properly. Oh man, this looks incredibly detailed. Now the fur on his shoulders, Kratos' shoulders, his beard, his wrinkles, the scar on the face, they already look way more detailed than the 2018 version of the game. Not 2018 version, but like the 2018 game. I'm so excited that I'm blurting out the wrong words. Check out his fingers as well, the dirt on his nails. They've given such a lot of thought and they have meticulously put this character together. I mean, every single pixel or frame that you see on screen reeks of careful thought and love and care and attention that they've put into the character design of Kratos. Even the particle effects that's coming off the campfire, you could say. And here we have Atreus. This is the same scene that we've seen in the trailer as well. Boy is here. Hungry? Hangry. Not just hungry because I'm always angry and hungry. Okay. It's still the same uh, Atreus. The character modeling is excellent because you still have the same likeness from the 2018 game and you see him grow up now. So it's the same Atreus that you have grown so fond of from the 2018 game. And here you see, you know, the difference in his age because three years have passed. And uh, yeah, our boy has grown up. Right off the bat, I can say that there has been a significant change in the way lighting works in this game. And I don't even have to go deeper into the game to say that. The way the lighting falls on your character, the ambient occlusion, everything makes the game pop. The characters look better and the overall game looks a bit more immersive, lifelike. Boy, does this look good. It's the same setting. So even in the 2018 game, you still had these snowy areas or these snowy levels. 
but there's a lot more detail now from the cart the wood on the cart that is to the background there's a nice amount of blur the wind blowing and look at the way the hair is moving on Atreus's head the fur on his shoulders again the texture quality the fabric texture that is Whoa. and I was talking about the lighting right the, so look at Atreus's face the lighting from the lamp you know that the lighting has changed in this game Al although you know this is not like a technical analysis for any tech reviews the best place to go is digital foundry and I'm not even a tech guy I mean not when it comes to the games uh, but man does this look good again the snowfall the fog, the light rays, everything comes together and gives you this immersive experience. What you can notice immediately in this game versus the 2018 is that there are a lot more assets in this, like the trees in the background. There are a lot more in this game. The foliage, a lot more. Even the snow particles. I think even that has been increased. That? Yes. That's what makes it is pop it on screen. Ooh, here we go, Freya. This is the same scene from the trailer, but yeah. Now we're gonna get to fight Freya. And we are not even 10 minutes into the game. Wow. Ooh. Let's go, let's go. Bye bye, Freya. Time to move on. Boy, let's go. Use L to steer around objects. Ooh. Ah, come on. Ooh. On, Freya, you don't want to do that. Whoa, I'm already so low on health. Okay, this scene, this scene we have seen from the trailers. Was it this scene from the trailers or from the early cutscenes that was leaked? By the way, if I haven't already mentioned, spoilers ahead. Bye bye, Freya. Run, boy, run! Yes, we did, boy. Let us go home. Becky, Fana, up. Speaking of home, wouldn't Freya already know where Kratos and Atreus live? Sorry, I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you Christopher Judge, all right, the cast. Let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Hmm. Wow, guys. I mean, again, it's just the amount of assets. 
the lighting which makes the game look different so it still looks like an upgrade there is a visual upgrade when it comes to this game if i haven't already spoken about this there's the single camera system so you are seamlessly going to switch from cutscene to gameplay gameplay to cutscene you wouldn't even feel it it's so good i mean these developers they've really put in their heart and soul into it and it shows they have kept all our gamers in mind as well this looks gorgeous guys i mean i will get the deal oh and this is a cross gen game it's also released on the playstation 4 wow hey is it just me or creator seems to have lost weight looks a bit leaner could be working out i think it looked a little more bulkier in the first game let me know in the comments as to what you think Oh man, we're not even 10 minutes into the game. Sorry, 15 minutes into the game now. I'm losing track of time. I mean, that's how good this game looks. Oh, and again, switched over to the gameplay. Sorry, the cutscene. Oh. Uh, your food? Still hungry? I don't know if you've ever need to eat. come across losing a pet. I hope you don't. It's pretty sad. Oh. Uh, I have. I lost uh, one ready? of my uh, German shepherds. Unfortunately, died on my birthday. Uh, that was a bummer. It's really sad. She was such a good dog. Oh. Ah. Uh. Atreus, tell him Frost Nida. You must prepare yourself. Hmm. For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. Oh, that's sad. What's incredible is that we never saw Fenrir in the first game. Why am I feeling sad? We've just been introduced to this character. Man. But you can still feel for this character. That's some powerful direction or storytelling. I mean the voice acting, the facial expressions of Atreus right now. Man, it's incredible. Oh, that's sad, man. And look at how powerful the storytelling is. Like I was saying, I have not seen Fenrir in the first game, but I can still feel for him. That loss weighs in heavy. Man, that makes me even more excited about what's to come in the next few hours what no it's the middle of the night night does not stop our enemies that's true why 
Ops 4. Tracing is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. The boy's got a point as well. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. The scenes from the trailer. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. So do we, boy. So do we. Lead on. Maybe that's what Mother wants. Do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like it never will. Is it just me or is, is Kratos more expressive in this game? I mean, his facial expressions as well. He's got a lot more expression on his face. I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him. Of course, I'm sure he's gonna say yes to that. Hmm. Yeah, I do personally think that Kratos is more expressive in this game. The way his eyes move, blink. But he is Lena, I think. I think he is Lena. Or maybe it's just me. And there is a sad moment. Oh, yeah, comes our beloved Mimir. <laughs> well, I recognize that dull expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? Still a voice acting. How's the lad taking it? Not well. Not well. Hey, wow. Let's <laughs> bury him. Okay. Damn it. All right, brother. Time to sleep. The lighting's got an overhaul. I can see that for sure. I mean, everything lights up very differently. The uh, flame, the shadows, you know, because of the lighting that is. And that's what that, that's why lighting is so important in games. It totally changes the way a game looks. And I'm sure they've done something with the lighting in this game. I'm sure it's, it's a bit of an overhaul, I could say. That's what makes everything pop out. Everything looks so fantastic and lifelike. It's still the single camera, by the way, even the dream sequence. I mean, look at it. How? What a clever way to do it. Wow. You know, the camera never changed. It stayed on. Wow. I can think about, you know, how they must have thought about doing this dream sequence, keeping the single camera mode in mind. Hey, is it just me or does the does the actress who's playing Faye or this character model look like the actress from the Netflix series? Mm -hmm. The one who plays the assistant. I forgot what her name was. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Again, guys, I mean the lighting. Not very tall for a giant, Faye. But she does have that likeness, you know. Fresh kiss. Of that actress that I was talking about. At least it didn't suffer. Mm. Am I to decipher your grunting? It's only your thoughts. We hunt a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the 
natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Oh, look at that lighting. Oh. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? Oh, don't no, run away. Don't. Mm. Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stage found his way inside. As I said, he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. I can't move. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? You are not hiding. That's right. We are preparing. Well, time to carry some chopped wood. Or at least move it around. She does look like that actress. Come on. Let me know in the comment section, you know, I mean, what you think about it. The daredevil actress. Good boy. The assistant. What is her name? Was it Deborah Ann Wall? Was that her name? Faye. Where are you, Faye? Can I even go here? Oh, I still can't run. At least not yet. Still no sprinting. Hey there, Wolfie. Again, the switch back from the dream sequence to the real world. The Single camera. Incredible. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. Not before. Oh, the head's back on. Well, yeah, definitely not here. Man, just, just one thing that I would like to mention that, you know, when we take a look at this house here, it's the same house. I think, you know, the, the, the asset is the same, but there's a lot more detail now. I remember this friends from the 2018 game, still here. I remember this particular corner from the 2018 game, still here. This wasn't there earlier. I don't remember seeing this, but apart from that, the assets and this level is I'm sure the same level that we've seen in the 2018 game as well. But there's a lot more detail now. Like I was saying, you know, a lot more trees in the background, a lot more assets like stones, rocks, etc., foliage. Uh, the light is definitely different. So you can see, I think, is that volumetric fog? Could be. And overall, the snow particles, etc., the wind moving, all of that adds, a, adds this immersive feeling to it. So overall, this game looks incredibly beautiful and extremely detailed. So far, the voice acting, the character models, the animation, etc., the camera system has been absolutely top notch. Like this, if, if there was a level beyond AAA, this is that level. This game looks so good in the first 20 minutes or so. How long have I been playing this for? Well, 24 minutes. So like I said, I'm going to be recording this um over the next few days as well because hey i've got to complete this game and i'm really excited 
to find out what happens with Odin, Thor, and all the other characters. But for this video, I'm going to stop here. Like I said, I'm going to record the first 20 to 25 minutes. And uh, I know there have been hardly any spoilers in this video, but I'm going to release a lot more videos in the near future where I'm going to be talking about the game, um, getting into that spoilery territory now that the game has been officially released. And uh, I'm going to share my opinion about the game overall. I might even uh, test out the two graphical options on my television, which is the quality and the performance mode. And if you want me to compare it to the PlayStation 4 version and give you my opinion or thoughts about it, do let me know in the comment section. I have a PlayStation 4 Pro as well, so I can test it out on the PlayStation 4 uh, Pro and compare it with the PS4 version of the game. Again, it's been fun playing so far. I'm really, really excited about playing a lot more of this game and I'm going to share more videos in the near future. If you want to get connected with my channel, well, now is the time. If you like the content, if you appreciate it, I would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. I do intend to put out more God of War videos in the near future. So stay tuned. Keep watching. And uh, it's a wrap for this video. I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all.